Okay. What's good, y'all? Shout out to Notification Gang for hitting the like button. And the build didn't even start yet. Y'all have those ones in it. I appreciate you anyway. Black China has been a topic of discussion, man, um, for the last, I want to say two weeks now. The last two weeks now, she's she's been a topic of discussion, man. Um, and it, I, I, I said this in my last video, my bad, I'm trying to get my timer ready, so I don't go over time. Um, I said this in, in, in my last video, right? If, if you're going to tag me in whatever video I'm going to, you know, do my due diligence and make sure that uh, I deliver the quality content to y'all. Right. So again, like I've been saying, I don't really care to talk about Black China, what she got going on. I wish her the best. I wish her none but the best and whatever she's trying to find with whatever man or, you know, religion, whatever it is she's trying to find. I wish her none but the best, man. So um, but again, like I said, y'all tag me in this. So let's so let's go. Let's get into this, man. Shout out to TMZ. This is their video. I'll make sure to tag them, of course. Y'all know how I like to do. Look, I mean, we've covered, you know, a lot of the drama that you've had in the past. What made you, I mean, I don't know if this is the right word, reinvent yourself and do what you've done? Because honestly, like Charles is saying, that doesn't happen a lot. This is pretty incredible. You know what, for me, honestly, I just got sick and tired of being sick and tired, you know? And I just honestly wasn't living my my life right. So I was just attracting all this negativity. And I wanted to honestly dig deep and really see like, what's my purpose? Like, why am I even here? Why am I here on earth? And just really find myself because you know being in the industry for so long you you will lose yourself so i wanted to get back to myself and you know become a better mom a better friend be more spiritual uh, more business savvy and really show the real person that i am and not this persona that i was um putting on walking away from that is what makes i think from the outside what makes this such a remarkable decision that you that you've made here because people go like wait a second She's very successful. She was making money and she's walking away from that. Uh, can you talk about that and that how that played into your decision? So for my birthday, the only thing I wanted to do was get baptized. So I got baptized on my birthday. So I was reborn on my birthday. And then from there, I just, you know, I kind of dug deep and, you know, practiced solitude and really just was just able to focus on myself and like do the work, you know, like do the work within myself, meaning being alone, uh, working out, practicing sobriety, the Bible. And that, those are the last, um, those are the three things that I've been doing for the past seven months. And I've just been finding myself more and more. I just want to be happy. Like, I just want to be peaceful with myself, you know, and now like I realize, like, you know, my kids are going to be seven and 11 this year and I want to be a positive reflection on them so that the generations can that that's to come can also have that peace and that that stability and balance in their life so that they can become successful and not fall victim to the things that really honestly uh, is not a good thing. And, and none of those things like serve me. And that's just like really what it was for me. Your cousin. Hold on. I, I wanted to stop it earlier. I'm so sorry, y'all. I wanted to stop it earlier. Um, this is, ladies, the reality of the women that gets involved in this type of lifestyle. She's an adult. Has been for, I mean, how old is China? Black China, 30-something, 30-something years old. So she's been an adult for at least minimum 15 years. I think she's 34 or something like that, 36. I can't, I looked it up last time. I can't remember. I think it was, I think it was 36. So she's been an adult for quite some time now, well over a decade. You had any amount, uh, you had an ample amount of time in between them damn 15 years to come to this realization to be baptized and, and be a positive role model for your seven and 11 year old child, child children. This is the, the reality, and I said this before uh, in my last, if I remember about the out the top, but I said this before, right, where I was saying that, um, you know, this is the reality of a lot of women that gets in this, into that type of lifestyle, right, um, that type of pay, paying lifestyle. Um, it has a shelf life. And once you realize that your shelf life is approaching your expiration date, 
there's a there's only a few things you're or free options I should say that you have left to do. One of them is this option here, which is you see all the damn time with women like her. Oh, I'm gonna give my life to God. Oh, hopefully I can find a man now. By that time, the damage is already in me. You're in, in majority. Let me say that. By that time, the damage is already done in majority. A lot of men is gonna look at you and be like, bro, get the hell out of here, bro. You was out here slanging coot noot. <laughs> online for, for $5.99 or $10.99, whatever your price was on OnlyFans. Where was all of the, and I said this in my last video, where was all of this 5, 10, 15 years ago? We was, we was a damn stripper shaking your ass on a pole. Where was this? Where was this? Now you're looking at me and everybody else and expecting us to believe that Oh, I just I just had a realization and I wanted to get baptized on my birthday and I just wanted to give my life to God and I wanted to do this, that, and a third, and da 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 da. The truth of the matter is your shelf life was close to the expiration date. It was close to being expired. You're in the dating world now. You're 34 years old. You're not the pick of the litter. You're not no like like like, like how, how we <laughs> Caribbean say, goddamn spring chicken. You're not, you're not that. That's not you anymore. You have a bunch of, and 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 I want to say, I want to make this clear, y'all. She didn't, in my opinion, let me say this. She did not take out all those fillers and plastic crap, silicone crap in her behind. She didn't remove all that stuff because she wanted to be a new, new her and change her name to whatever her damn, her, her real name, biological name is. That stuff is making her sick. It's been making several other women sick, which is the reasons why K. Michelle and, um, who else? K. Michelle and I think. It was Trina and a couple other chicks. I can't. I can't remember all their names. Whatever. Um, that's the reason why you know K. Michelle and all of them had to get all that crap removed out of them. You're not supposed to have those types of things in your body, breast implants, silicones, whatever, all that crap. You're not supposed to have that stuff in your body. You're not. Which is the reason why I always say, yo, I, I, I want, I want my chick natural. I don't give a damn if you got, you know, a flat ass. I don't give a damn if you got you know, flat breasts, I don't care, flat chest, whatever you call it, flat, flat, uh, you know, titties, I don't, I don't care. I want you natural because I will be damned if, first of all, you, you, we growing, we growing old together and you're getting sick because of these stupid ass surgeries. I'll be damned if my daughter go grows up thinking, oh, hey, I need to have breast implants and ass and ass shots to be able to get the eyes of a man. No, I'm not having that. And that's one of the reasons why I tell y'all boys to be very selective with the woman that you're dating, with the woman you're sleeping with, or whatever the case may be, uh, more, more important than dating, uh, the woman that you're dating, the woman that you're settling down with, you have to be very selective because these are going to be the women that's raising your child or children. To the arrangement, I, and, and I may be wrong here, but my recollection is that you had dream about 30% of the time. Is that something you're moving to change? And are you, you know, communicating with Rob and I guess the rest of the family um, cause I know Chloe played a part in raising dream as well. Are you, it, it has this made inroads for you in that department? We Excellent question. Excellent question, sir. She doesn't even have full custody of her child. She has a baby by Rob Kardashian and I believe she has another child by Tyga, I think. Tyga, or, or, or one of them rappers, man, one of them light-skinned rappers. I, I, I remember I did a, uh, I remember I did, I think I did a video, if I remember I put the eye at the top, I did a video on this uh, maybe a year ago where Black China was out there trying to be petty when she was basically saying, oh, she has custody of her kids, she does this, she does that, she needs more help, she needs more help, she needs more help. And Rob Kardashian, I'm sorry, Tiger made a post first and was basically saying, what do you need child support for? I have her majority of the time. He was like, yo, I have her like 70% of the time, you only have her 30% of the time, you only have her once a month. And Rob Kardashian followed up suit and was basically saying the same damn thing. So excellent question, Black China now or Angela White, whatever the hell your, your hell your damn name is. Now you're going through all these changes. Are you going to get full custody of your of your two kids? They're 50-50 custody. That's number one. Also, too, I can she triggered. <laughs> can I control if Chloe is watching Dream at Rob's house? You know, that's when he has his daughter. But I will tell you this, when she's at home with mommy, I'm 100% a hundred percent there. You know what I mean? I'm glad that you did bring this up. And honestly, it's never been any bl bad blood or anything that's like negative. Again, 
So notice how I paused it, right? When she first started talking, um, when I paused it for the full two minutes she was talking, she never stuttered. She never, uh, she never had a choke and now she's choking. Oh, and I'm glad that you asked me that. No, you're not. You are triggered right now that he asked. That was an excellent question, whatever his damn name is. Excellent question. And technically she didn't still, well, let, let's keep listening because she didn't answer the question. Against them, it was just right is right and wrong is wrong. But you know, the more older and, and wiser that I get, we have to realize at the end of the day, you have to forgive and forget so you can open up your heart so you can be successful and have a healthy relationship, just not even just for ourselves, but for the baby. You know, this is a child that didn't even ask to be here. So we need to all come together as a collective because it takes a village to raise a child, you know? And that's just really like my focus, like as far as co-parenting goes, like I'm very happy with the situation with the 50-50 custody. And, you know, I think that everybody's happy, especially Dream. Long as Dream is happy, I'm happy. I don't really care about anything else. Look, I mean, we've... So she didn't answer the question. Um, one, well, his, his question was like, uh, like a two, three parter. But the main question, the first question I should say that he asked was, are you planning on getting full custody, basically getting full custody of your kids now that you're no longer into uh, SEX work, right? You're no longer into those types of things. So what is your next course of action, Black China? She doesn't even know. She doesn't even know. But all y'all, and, and more so, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I have to throw the women under the bus here. Uh, all, a lot of women running around sharing Black China's story. Oh, my God, thank God. Oh, my God, she's saved now. Oh, they, oh, Y'all don't know her story. She doesn't even have full custody of her child. I would imagine this would be the first thing that you do after all that. And she couldn't even answer the question. What are your plans for getting full custody of your child, child children? Because you don't have full custody of none of your kids. If I remember correctly... Black, uh, Tiger said that he gets he has uh, custody of a child 70 80 percent of the time, and and I believe Rob Kardashian said the same thing, which is the reason why he just said it. He said, You have them 30 percent of the time, and she said, Oh no, it's 50 percent of the time. I need to go back and and, and what I ain't even going <laughs> I need to go back and do and watch that video, man, because I know I know that's what that's what they both were saying, and neither of those guys have a reason to lie about having 70%, you 30% custody of, of, of the kid. Nobody, nobody, no man has a reason to lie about something like that. So Angela White, what I, and what I also need you to do, because I said this in my last video. So first, what we definitely need you to do is to get full custody of your kids, number one, first and foremost, now that you're no longer into this uh, SEX work and you're no longer twerking, shaking your ass on the pole or in front of a camera. Now that you're no longer doing that, you go get them kids, get full custody of the kids, number one. Number two, what we need you to do is to speak to the kids, to our little girls in our community. So not little girls per se, but you know, little girls, young, the younger girls, the teenagers, what I'm trying to say. The teenage girls, hell, even early 20s, talk to them, guide them, let them know, hey, listen, what I did was stupid. It was wrong. It was a mistake. And this is how it affected me negatively. That's what we need you to do, Black Angela, Angela White, whatever your damn name is. That's what we need you to do. I said this in my last video. I wish you nothing but the best. I hope everything works out the way that you want it to. And, I, and I'm going to keep that same energy. I also said in my last video, you are a very attractive and beautiful woman. I'm going to keep that same energy. She's still gorgeous as hell. She's still attractive. A lot of guys, especially simps, because we are outnumbered by simps, a lot of guys, a lot of simps will be running to cuff a chick like that. Not me. I'm good on all that. I'll, I'll respectfully decline. Um, you know what I mean? But a lot of guys will. Uh, I would give her by the end of the year. I'm, I'm, I'm certain if not next year, I would give her by the end of this year. Um, some guy is going to cuff her. Hell, it might be PJ Washington. <laughs> it might be PJ Washington. It's crazy ass. Um, but no, excellent video, man. Excellent video. Great questions by TMZ. Um, you know, all, all that good stuff, man. I really do wish Black China the best. I hope she means everything she says, but me and knowing me, knowing women and female nature and hypergamy and all this that and the third i honestly just don't see this lasting let me say it like that i just don't see it lasting you know y'all can take that you know however y'all y'all want to take that but anyway i want you to comment down below and uh let me know what y'all thought about this video man thanks for watching please 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 if you haven't hit that subscribe button man also to hit that bell symbol size and time make an upload notification will pop up and alert you also too make sure you hit that like make sure you hit that share I look forward to reading all your comments, if any. So until next time, please, man, y'all be separate. Uh...